greatest of all teachers and giver of love, hope, faith, and wisdom, look upon your children, the teachers, learners, parents, guardians, and out-of-school youth and adults. We humbly ask for your mercy and forgiveness. Guide us to the right path. May our efforts be blessed with insights and understanding, wisdom and respect for all. Bless us with patience, for the path of learning is never easy. Bless our commitment to keep on learning new knowledge and experiences. Let your light shine upon us as we make our world a better place to live in. Amen.
Alright, good evening to all our Googly educators, students, and parent teachers watching tonight. Wow, it is such a wonderful and beautiful Wednesday evening indeed to once again be trained and be assisted in the best conduct of synchronous learning and virtual meetings. If you want to prepare yourselves for some hybrid learning as groundwork for our face-to-face -face combat, this webinar series is the best for you. Again, this is brought to us by the Department of Education through the ICTS EdSec Unit in collaboration with Google Educators Group Philippines. I welcome you all to this webinar series entitled The Googly Filipino Teachers. I am your friendly Googly buddy. Na miss na miss na kayong lahat. Teacher Jen from SDO Batangas Province. Hello po at magandang gabi po sa lahat ng nanonood sa atin ngayon. Wow, I am really very excited na makabalik muli at ma-host ang isa sa pinakapaborito kong webinar series na naattendan ko in my entire life. Hello po sa inyong lahat. Alam niyo po, very special ang gabi natin kasi we are on the last episode of Season 1. Oh, Teacher Jen, sabi mo special pero last episode na ito. Huwag kayong mag-alala kasi marami pa kayong dapat abangan dahil hindi dito natatapos ang ating The Google Filipino Teacher dahil meron tayong Season 2. Ayan, tama kayo nang narinig mula sa akin. Matatapos ang Season 1 natin pero kaabang-abang naman ang mga training sa susunod pa nating uh, mga buwan or mga weeks malapit na yan. Kaya abangan po ninyo ang ating Season 2. Actually po, we are on the 20th episode of this wonderful Google It training. Kung naaalala nyo from our viewpoints sa ating first ever speaker noong November 2021, ang tagal na pala po, to the always on point techniques that will be shared with us tonight by another top-notch Google speaker. Nako ko na po nagsasabi sa inyo, very special ang gabi natin ngayon and we are very privileged to have a very important um, resource speaker ngayong gabi. Our season one gave us an outstanding journey and this shall end with a blast. Ngayong gabi, we will be exploring another edifying and surely enlightening topic on how to link and embed across the different Google Workspace tools that will expand and give as the possibility to create multiple and varied instructional materials. Na kailangan, kailangan po natin yan ngayon. Even we are um, 
nagsisimula na tayo sa ating face-to-face. -face. Marami pa rin sa ating mga sudyante ang nananatili sa bahay at nangangailangan pa ng up-to-date uh, na techniques kung paano pa sila mas matututo. At alam ko po na e uh, very eager na kayo na simulan ito. But before I formally introduce our resource speaker tonight, let me read some of your greetings and expectations from our session. Ayan, bumati muna po tayo. Binabati ko kayong lahat na nanonood sa comfort ng inyong home. Binabati ko rin po si Miss Mary, uh, si Mami, Mami Weng, si Sir Raymond, and si Sir Bad sa nanonood sa kanilang mga bahay. Hello po sa inyo. Magandang gabi. Alright, bumat, uh, batiin rin po natin. Ayan, si Ma'am Glenda Alora. Alora, magandang gabi po. Full support kay Sir Franco. Wow, naku, mukhang hindi na ata surprise ang ating resource speaker kasi kilala niyo na. From Ma'am Jivelin R. Mosqueda. Good evening po from the Division of Camarines Norte. Hello po, Ma'am, sa inyong lahat dyan na nanonood. From Ma'am Dornin uh, Jugakan. Good evening, watching from Ormoc City, Leyte. Hello po sa mga taga Leyte. Magandang gabi po. Ganon din po kay Ma'am Grace Erisilia. Good evening, watching from Baton National High School, Sagay City. Hello, hello po sa inyong lahat dyan. Kay Ma'am Maria Vicenta Galvez. Good evening, watching from SDO, Zamboanga City, Zamboanga National High School. Ayan, meron pa ba si Sir Jomel C. Achenza? Good evening po from Tanawan City Integrated High School. Hello po sa mga taga-Tanawan. From Ma'am Grace Ercilia, good evening. Watching from um, Batuan National High School, Sagay City. At sa lahat po ng mga teachers natin dyan sa Baguio, hello po sa mga nanonood. Malapit sa puso natin yung mga nasa Baguio eh. Diba? Sana po makabisita rin kami dyan. Hello po kay Ma'am Mary Rose. Um, good evening po from Gregorio uh, Alinio Elementary School. Ayan, hello po sa inyong lahat. At mamaya po, we'll try to um, greet and read more of your uh, greetings para ngayon. Alright, so... And also, please do not forget to share this webinar series using our official hashtags Hashtag Google for Education and hashtag the Google Filipino Teacher. So more educators around the Philippines can have this opportunity to reskill themselves in the use of Google Workspace. And later on po after the talk, we will try to entertain some of your questions about the topic and we will let our speaker give you the best answer he got to be of help. Ayan na. Alam ko po, excited na kayong lahat. Kasi excited na rin kami. So, let's now commence with our speaker. Our speaker po is a graduate of Bachelor of Secondary Education from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. He acquired his Master of Arts in History from the Ateneo de Manila University. And he is currently taking up his postgraduate studies at the University of the Philippines, Diliman, under the Tri-College Philippine Studies Doctorate Program. Currently po, he is a full-time faculty at Xavier School and a part-time lecturer at the Ateneo de Manila University. He is a Google Certified Educator Level 2. Wow! And he also belongs to the Google for Education Certified Innovators VIA 20 cohort, of which, ito lang naman po, only 75 were accepted with only two coming from the Philippines. Oh, diba? Sabi ko sa inyo, very special ang ating guest ngayon. He is also a Google for Education certified trainer and a Google for Education certified coach. He is the founder of Kaagapay Teacher Support, which provides different forms of assistance to teachers all over the country. Whoa. His works in education sector became the basis for his nomination as a TOYM 2021 under education. To share his expertise in hyperlinking and embedding instructional materials, Ladies and gentlemen, buong Pilipinas, let's give our virtual applause and welcome, Sir Franco Nicolo P. Adon. 
Hello po, sir. Ayan, hello, sir. Hello, sir Franco. Hello, Miss Jen. Good afternoon and um, thank you for that uh, introduction. Medyo nakapressure yung introduction na yun, ano? And uh, okay, actually, I hope... Actually, sir, kami yung pressure kasi alam namin napakahusay nyo. So, thank you so much po for sharing your time with us tonight. Thank you, thank you. Maraming salamat. It's a pleasure, of course, no? At uh, lalong karangalan ko, syempre, no, na mga pabilang sa mga uh, naimbitahang uh, speaker dito sa DepEd EdTech ed Unit. Alam naman natin kung gaano ka kabihasa, no? At saka kagaling ang mga mga trainers na, and of course, mga speakers ng DepEd EdTech Unit. Of course, no, yung mga moderators din natin. Kaya, um, really glad no, to be here and to be with all of you, no? Uh, and... Siguro may nalang bigyan ng disclaimer about what we're going to discuss for today. Anyway, maraming yes, salamat, Ms. Jen. Um, I am giving the screen to you. God bless po. And later po, babalik po ako para tulungan kayo. Salamat po. Good luck, sir. Maraming salamat, Ms. Jen. And thank you for that. Um, we'll just wait for my presentation to um to be uh, broadcasted as well. The teachers, magandang-magandang araw-araw po. Ang gabi, actually. To all of you. And uh, welcome to our session. It's another googly time according uh, sa ating... Um, uh, program, um, uh, stream director for today, Teacher Rainier, who's on the background. No? So again, maraming maraming salamat po. Okay? Uh, so this uh, session uh, will still be no, uh, part of our um, um, Google for Education training sessions for teachers and students, okay? which is entitled the Googly Filipino Teacher. Yeah? So this is uh, primarily no, made um, and um, designed no, um, in context uh, of the Filipino teachers that we have, of course. No? So it's not just about a like, discussion of um, Google Workspace for Education, but uh, of very sensitive in, in a sensitive way, um, it's designed specifically for Filipino educators. So again, maraming maraming salamat na for uh, for um, for attending our session for today. Okay, so welcome to our um, um, last session. Naka pressure ng konti din, lalo pa nakaka pressure no na ako pala yung uh, last session ng season one. So hopefully we end this um, this session this season no, with with the um, uh, with the blast no and uh, we get to still get to learn more about Google Workspace for Education. Pero alam ko po no teachers sa mga nagdaang araw uh, sa mga nagdaang uh, sessions pala no kay ang dami na ring nabigay ng mga speakers natin lalo na kakatapos lang ng napaka amazing session uh, ni Sir Mark Anthony Sino about uh, mobile devices with Google. Okay so then um definitely you are already uh, equipped with so much knowledge and skills no, about um, Google Workspace for Education. So for today, we'll just focus on a very trivial, rather trivial, no? Kasi alam naman natin to, okay? And um, um, common, okay? Aspect ng ating Google Workspace for Education, okay? Pero, okay, um, we will try to elevate this, no? And uh, we'll, we'll try to see if we can still expand our, our, our understanding about uh, hyperlinking and embedding, okay? And Siguro, when we think about hyperlinking and embedding, okay, one of the things that we have to consider, no, okay, why hyperlinking and embedding is now a trend for resource materials is because more and more materials are going online. Okay? So, dahil more and more materials are going online, okay, and now we are transitioning and migrating uh, to, cloud, um, to cloud computing no, and uh, to cloud-based um, operations ng ating mga um, processes, okay? such as, for example, sharing of materials, etc., um, that becomes a basis no, on why hyperlinking and embedding of resource materials will play a huge, huge part okay, in our development of resource materials. Plus, napatunayan din natin during the pandemic school years in the last two years na ang instructional materials natin hindi lang kailangan printed. Okay? At because um, alam natin na if we go beyond printed materials, okay, we can actually create more variations, okay? differentiated uh, materials, and more dynamic and, and flexible materials for our students. So yan ang gusto nating gawin Why we're discussing hyperlinking and embedding. Okay? Kaya nga, I entitled my presentation hyper-edu or hyper-edu. Uh, it's because you want to uh, elevate no, how we create instructional materials okay, for education. Okay? So once again, uh, thank you, Ms. Jen, for that introduction. Okay, but I'd like to uh, also introduce myself formally uh, to all of you no, sa mga hindi pa nakakilala sa akin. Okay? Um, and 
I am a Franco Nicolo Piadon, the administrator of Kagapay Teacher Support, okay? and also a Google for Education certified trainer. Okay? But teachers, no, okay? uh, I'd like to also make a disclaimer, no, kasi talaga na pressure ako sa introduction ni Ms. Jen. Okay? Um, let's make this a collaborative presentation, okay? a collaborative training session no? in, um, in which that we can, we get to also uh, share our um, our knowledge, okay? our skills okay? in the chat. So please, if you have things to share, if I miss uh, something, for example, if I did something wrong, uh, if there's a better way of doing uh, the things I'm going to share for today, then do share in the chat because um, that would actually help our uh, our uh, I don't know, uh, audience for today. Okay, so that I hope that we can do, teachers. Okay, so light up um, the the chat co the comment section, okay, of your insights, questions, and uh, everything, you no, know, uh, for our session for today. Okay, so for our uh, session objectives, just to make sure that we are all on the same page, okay. So we are going to discuss hyperlinking and embedding, although we already know that, okay? But I'd like to first clarify, baka rin lang na gagamit natin sila um, uh, synonymously while in fact they are different, okay? And of course, no, evaluate benefits of hyperlinking and embedding instructional materials, okay? And the last one, of course, no, since we are Googly uh, Filipino teachers, okay? And of course, this is a Googly time, okay? We're going to identify different hyperlinking and embedding capabilities within the Google Workspace for Education. Ano nga ba ang mga kakayahan or paano ginagamit ni Google Workspace for Education yung idea ng hyperlinking and hyper uh, embedding, no? Em embedding capabilities sa loob ng kanyang system and platform, okay? And for our says um flow teachers, okay? So that we're also um ano no, uh, properly guided. So we'll have the definition first of hyperlinking and embedding. And then we'll go to benefits of hyperlinking and embedding. And we'll finish off our session. No? Parang ano, pinatay, no? <laughs> Parang hindi maganda yung word. <laughs> we'll we'll uh, um, ano, no, um, conclude our session for today no? uh, with the exploration of the many tools of uh, Google Workspace for Education that has, um, uh, that's, that have, no? that has um, um, hyperlinking and embedding capabilities. Yan ang gagawin natin para sa gabing ito. Okay? So let's now um, proceed, teachers. Okay, I hope we are all ready um, on uh, our discussion for today. Okay, so nahin mo na natin on the definition. Okay, by the way, bago pala ako mag-proceed, no, meron po akong um, iniwan sa taas na um, link, no, that's uh, slides.app.goo.gl, okay, slash klp9c, that's uh, the link to my presentation. If you want to ask questions, okay, do let me know. Um, and I'll be more than glad no, to, uh, to hear you out and to, um, um, to look at your questions. If not, you can easily type the, your questions in the chat no, and I'll answer your and address your questions as soon as possible. Okay? So, uh, when we think about hyperlink, no, we're actually uh, looking at a link from a hypertext file okay? or document to another location or file. Okay? Typically, um, activated by clicking or uh, on a highlighted word or image on the screen. So, couple of things to make uh, to to notice here, teachers. No, unang una, kapag po tayo ay gumagawa ng hyperlink, ibig sabihin nagi insert po tayo ng link sa loob ng isang text. Okay, and then that te that text no becomes a hypertext. Okay, and normally a hypertext is highlighted and would have a different color, okay? Can we change the color of the hypertext? Yes, you can, okay? At hindi mawawala naman yung link that you have linked, no, uh, to that hypertext, okay? But, okay, um, when you um, uh, change, no, make sure lang po, no, that when we change color of a hypertext, okay, let's make sure that um, nagpapap pa rin yung hypertext natin kasi baka baguhin natin mag-same color ng all text natin, hindi po siya magpapap hindi siya mamanonotice ng mga tao that it's a clickable link. Okay? There's a reason why okay, a hypertext has a different color and is uh, underlined. It's because for people to see it and to recognize that it's clickable. So keep it noticeable, distinguishable po teachers. Okay? And um, so for example, no, um, if I, ins I inserted a link here, okay, I created a hyperlink in this presentation. Okay? And if I click now this hypertext, okay? That actually, uh, that um, this hypertext no naka uh, underline po siya, okay? That will actually lead me to where the definition, this definition actually came from, right there, okay? 
So that's actually how it works, okay? That's that's the beauty of hyperlinking, no? okay? By simply having a simple text, now you can actually uh, insert uh, more than one resource, no? Okay? And uh, information in in your um, um, in your resource materials. Can you imagine, for example, if you just uh, give your students a one page document, okay? But um, use hyperlinking, okay? You can actually link 20, 30, or maybe 40, and even 50 resources in that one page without necessarily crowding your spaces, okay? That's the beauty and that's the purpose of hyperlinking, okay? Um, uh, curating resources and allowing you to do that without consuming too much space, okay? That's for hyperlink, okay? Now, when we go to embedding, okay, when we talk about embedding, okay, we're talking about um, it refers to the integration of links, images, videos, GIFs or GIFs, okay, and other content into social media posts or other web uh, media. Okay, so when we talk about um, um, when we talk about um, when we talk about um, embedding, no, we are talking um, on integrating. So you're not uh, because when you do hyperlinking, you're actually bringing out the um, um, you're bringing out your users, okay. To another location okay so when they click for example a hyperlink they go to another web so a website okay but when you do embedding you are actually integrating the actual resource in your resource material okay so if it's a video they will see the video right there okay if it's a uh, a photo or um a web uh, another website perhaps okay or another tool or educational technology they will see it from your space okay so compared to a hyperlink or hyperlinking Embedding actually consumes more space, okay, compared to hyperlinking, okay? And that also brings us to the difference in uses. Now, we'll actually highlight that in a little while, okay? So, uh, in comparison, no, kapag pinag-usapan natin yung hyperlinking and embedding, okay, the first one is that, the first thing that you have to notice that hyperlinking redirects to a different location, okay? So, pumupunta po yan sa ibang lokasyon, okay? Uh, to another website, uh, to a file, okay? Um, or to another... To, another uh, space no or virtual space okay uh, kung saan nandoon yung resource na yon okay a while okay, kapag embedding naman you are integrating the resource within the resource okay so as i mentioned kanina no okay um also for hyperlinking you are creating clickable hypertext okay so things that people can actually click and bring them to another location or to see the resource that you are trying to share with them okay and um and of course no sabi ko kanina less crowded ang um, hyperlinking okay so one of the many uses of uh, hyperlinking is that um what they call no isa sa mga um, terms namin sa um, sa ano sa um sa Google uh, community okay is yung idea ng hyperdocs okay so kapag nag curate kami ng mga resources for example if we want to share um 100 Okay, um, or for example, not 100, no? maybe for example, mga 20 or 30 links of videos, okay? where do we get, we, where do we put them? We don't like send those links in email. Okay? Instead, we properly curate those links in a document okay? and create hyperlinks for those videos. Okay? That's what we call hyperdocs. Okay? That's one way of using hyperlinks, no? an elevated use of hyperlinks wherein you get to actually share um, um, resources, okay? in a document okay you can also do that in uh, google slides no um personally i call it hyper slides i'll also, also show you later on about that game okay? um while okay, itong si uh, embedding no, it added uh, added resources are readily accessible without re redirection ang isa sa advantage ng um ng ano no ng ni, uh, embedding is that kapag naka embed okay, um significantly no and relatively okay, compared to redirection okay mas um less no yung paggamit ng mobile data or data in uh, overall okay kasi wala kang redirection okay ibig sabihin the file is actually playing within the open page already so for example kung gumawa ka ng isang uh, Google Slides okay at naglagay ka ng video doon okay ng YouTube video okay then that video will play in the um Google Slides already okay it will not lead them to um to um to youtube okay, which will prompt them to download once again the materials okay, um and all other uh, important uh, details no to be able to run youtube okay, which therefore will consume data 
Okay? Kaya mas less po, no? Kapag kasi nagre-redirect tayo ng uh, users natin to other locations, okay? That actually consumes um, data, no? In processing that, um, that, uh, that resource, okay? So, yan po ang difference ng hyperlinking and embedding, okay? But, overall, no? Pareha silang may benefits, okay? Pareho to, itong hyperlinking and embedding, napakalaga on centralizing varied and differentiated resources in a unified space, okay? Napakahalaga po niyan, especially for online uh, setup, no? Okay? Ang hirap mag-share, mag, uh, mag no? Ng resources, okay? Ng paisa-isa, okay? Or in, um, uh, in sporadic way, no? Na uh, nakakalat or uh, hindi naka-organize yung ating mga resources, okay? So, hyperlinking and embedding resources allows you to curate your resources, okay? In a unified space, which is very accessible to your students, okay? So, for example, if I'm teaching social science, okay, and if I have a module or a unit for uh, for my subject, I could put my all my materials in one space. And if my students want to access it, they can access it, okay? So, you can just imagine the independence no, and um, the comfort that will be built up for your students given that, okay? So, mas madali po magamit yan, okay? Uh, at mas madali po nilang ma-access yung ating mga resources, okay? Plus, sabi ko nga kanina, Pinaka-benefit ng Google Workspace for Education natin, cloud compute, cloud-based tayo. Ibig sabihin, kapag gusto mong i-edit, baguhin, um, and i-revise no, yung materials mo, hindi mo kailangang um, mag-resend ulit, no? Okay? You just have to um, um, uh, revise it, edit it the way you want it, okay? And then simply save that, okay? And your students with the same link to the, your resources, okay, will get the newly edited version of your resource materials, okay? And of course, no, yung idea ng variation of materials is achieved without increasing file size, okay? Alam natin, for example, kapag habang tayo nagdadagdag ng mga resources, bumibigat. Hindi po nangyayari yan sa ating mga, uh, sa hyperlinking and embedding, okay? Why? Because you're not necessarily adding the resource, okay? You're simply um, um, uh, putting the resource, no, and linking the resource into your instructional resources or instructional materials, okay? So, for example, kapag gumawa ako ng uh, Google Slides, okay, at naglagay ako ng mga videos doon, okay, for my students to watch, okay, uh, asynchronously, okay, uh, those videos will not actually um, eat up my storage in Google Drive. Hindi po bababa yung aking uh, storage sa Google Drive kasi, technically, I'm just linking a video from YouTube, okay? So, yung storage noon nasa YouTube pa din, Okay? And last one is access to materials is more efficient and less confusing for students, okay? Wala na pong magme-message sa inyo ng madaling araw bakit hindi nila ma-access yung resource nyo, okay? Uh, yung uh, madaling araw or uh, umagang-umaga or gabi, nagme-message, um, teacher, where can we find our resources, okay? So if you are able to curate them now in one space using hyperlinking and embedding, okay? So now... That settles it. Okay, so alam natin mahalaga. These are the things uh, that will propel us, no, and uh, further develop and uh, increase and elevate our instructional materials. Okay. Now we go to our, uh, of course, uh, the main chunk of our discussion for today, which is on hyperlinking and embedding with Google. Ano nga ba? At paano nga ba tayo makakapag-embed at makakapag-hyperlink um, no, sa loob ng Google Workspace for Education natin? Okay, of course, madami tayong mga tools. no. Actually, hindi ko na kinover din lahat. No? I only emphasize those that are widely used at talagang magagamit natin um, as, as educators. Okay? So, first off, okay, una natin uh, pag-usapan at i-cover okay, would be our Google Docs, okay? So, yan. Okay, of course, alam naman si Google Docs, no? Okay? Google Docs is our, ano, no? Um, our word processor um, um, version, okay? In our Google Workspace for Education. So, pag gumagawa tayo ng mga letters, resumes, etc. Google Docs yung ginagamit natin. But, let's not uh, forget teachers, no? Na elevated na rin po ang ating Google uh, Docs as well, okay? Ang dami na pong nagbago at ang dami na pong nadagdag sa ating Google Docs. So, let's see about it and let's look at uh, our Google Docs, okay? So, I have here a sample document, no? So, for example, meron akong module, okay? So, yan. Okay, meron akong module. I, uh, I, I lifted a module, a sample module, okay, from the internet, okay? Hindi ko naman po ito gagamitin bilang, ano, bilang uh, commercial, ano, no? okay? Um, information. Anyway, I'll, I'll also send you the the, the link later on. Okay? So, for example, meron akong module on 
Introduction to the Life and Works of Rizal. Okay? So, it's just a normal, okay? Meron kang topic, okay? Two weeks, uh, week three, week four, okay? I also have here objectives, okay? Learning outcomes, etc. Okay? But then, okay? Um, how can how how can Google Docs okay, um, elevate no this um, this uh, rather simple okay um, uh, upfront okay, um, module no for our students okay so for example if we were we are not going to print this instead okay, uh, we're going to digitalize okay, this um, this module no and share it to our students okay, uh, in an online setup okay then that gives us opportunity to widen the coverage okay, of our um, our um, module no say for example okay. Una -una natin dyan, uh, yung ating mga resources, okay? Why not, for example, instead of like like telling them, no, Republic Act 1425, that's one of the resources here, okay, is create a hyperlink for that so that when the students get this module, okay, they would already, you know, get this uh, or able to access the Republic Act 1425. Baka magkamali pa sila nang access na act, no, okay? So, we create hyperlink for this, okay? And to do that, okay, Hyperlinking no, um, in Google Docs is actually very easy. Okay? So you just highlight um, a text. No? And this text is what actually we call, it will become what we call later on the hypertext. Okay? In some cases, ang tawag po natin dito ay display text. Okay? So ito po yung naka-display na text instead of the link. Okay? Um, so Franco, why can we not just paste the link? Okay? It's because it's messy. Okay, that's one of the things we're trying to avoid. Okay, by putting the links, okay, um, uh, into your modules, no, okay, and pasting them into your modules, create a messy, uh, disorganized, no, uh, presentation of your modules. Okay, it will be very hard, um, for the eyes, no, of our students and may sometimes be actually a cause of confusion. Okay, so instead of um pasting the link here, we create a hyperlink. Okay, so highlight the link, uh, the the text that you'd like to um to create a hyperlink with. Okay. Then go to um peer to our toolbar. Okay. We go here and you will see here this one, this pin icon. Okay. This is our hyperlinking icon. Okay. So this is how we insert link in our um Google documents. No. And when I say Google Documents, that's true for Google Docs, Google Slides, okay, uh, Google Sheets, no, and all other applications of Google. So it's yung way natin to insert um links into our uh, documents, okay? So when you click that, okay, it will now prompt you to um to insert a um a, a hyperlink. Okay? So for example, right now, okay, uh, pwede ako mag-search muna okay, sa internet of course no ng um ng link pero makikita niyo dito uh, in a very smart manner no, okay? Nagsasuggest na rin syempre, okay? Because Google uh, search is also part no of our uh, Google system, okay? So it's also integrated into our um, into our different applications. So makikita niya rin dito ngayon some suggestions from Google search, no? Kasi na-recognize niya you're trying to uh, do a hyperlink for Republic Act um, number 1425. So ito yung pwede mong i-link diyan. Okay? So for example, this one, we click we click on this one, itong suggestion niya, okay? Again, no, you can also paste here, by the way, no? Huwag kakalimutan, okay? Pero we can click the suggestion and now that link, no? Uh that um resource, okay, or readings, okay? Have had become no um a, a dynamic um hyperlink already for our students. Okay, so simple change lang pero ang laking bagay na kagad sa mga students natin yan. Okay, kasi hindi nila kailangan magsearch pa, magconfuse. Alam nila that this is your recommended website or source. Okay, when they want to know about or when they want to read about Republic Act 1425. Okay, wala na confusion, wala na magtatanong about it. Okay, and of course, okay, eto ring mga activities natin. Okay. So instead for example no uh, na ibibigay mo pa to on a separate email okay or in a separate um uh, assignment no via Google Classroom why not okay uh, hyperlink already this or, or link uh, your materials in your Google document already in your module say for example naghahanap tayo ng essay or meron tayong um uh, essay format okay we can actually create now no uh, or do a hyperlink for that okay and link a Google document okay so for now I'm just going to um, link them no, to create a, um, a Google document. So I'm just going to link docs.mu. Okay? But of course, no, if you have a format, if you have a detail for it, okay, um, then go ahead. No, you can um, actually link the template to it. Okay? But there, here's, here's a suggestion though. No, okay? Kapag magkakaroon tayo ng, um, ng, ng, ano, no, ng, um, ng 
gagawa kayo ng template. Okay? What I suggest is, instead of, um, for example, nagawa tayo ng document, okay? doc set new. Okay, for example, this will be our template for the reflected essay. Okay? So, this is uh, entitled it, okay? uh, template, reflected Okay, so uh, essay. So, for example, you have to put here um, your uh, your guide questions, etc. Okay. Now, instead of um, sharing it to them, okay, uh, the trick here is actually okay to go to the um, uh, address bar. No, you can tawag getting Omnibox, okay, sa, sa Google Community, okay, and copy that, okay, and that's what we're going to share to our uh, students, okay. So let's um, create that, okay, hyperlink for that, okay. But here's the trick here, okay? So you will not share the editable version, okay? So what you're going to do is, on your um, link, no? Nasa dulo po nun edit, okay? Ang gawin nyo lang po, copy. Okay? Change it to copy, okay? And that's what will, uh, what will actually happen to that, no? Is that it will force your student, when they click to that, okay? It will force them to create or make a copy of your template, okay? So very, very smart um sharing no of um of a template okay so hindi nila makikita yung, makita nila ori, they will not see the original okay automatically pag click nila diyan okay that will now prompt them no to um uh, to create no or make a copy right there okay so yan po ang kanilang unang makikita okay so, di ba napaka ang ang ang, ang ayos di ba okay and see it teachers no look at it okay hindi pa ako nakakaabot ng second page okay and yet Nakapag-add na ako ng resource, okay? Nakapag-add na ako ng template, okay? I could also make a template for study plan. I could make a template for graphic organizer, for the guide questions, and even for the crossword puzzle. Kung yan ay game, um, I can insert a uh, crossword puzzle from another website, okay? Which I can also do, no? Okay? And I would be able to finish the entire module with just one page, okay? That's the kind of uh, organization, no? Okay? That um, hyperlinking can actually afford you okay you can also even okay um uh, link them no to the to the next module okay so imagine the continuity that you can, you can actually build for them okay so pwede mo tayong idiretso sa module 2 and so on and so forth okay and you can also even insert no links to an assessment so pwede ka rin mag-insert dito ng link to a Google form where an assessment will be given okay yan okay beauty of hyperlinking okay one page pa lang yung teachers, no? More so, kapag binigyan mo ako ng two page, I could give the world to the student, no? When it comes to learning, okay? Next study teachers, no, is uh, I'd like us to also explore, no? Yung tinatawag na, okay? Uh, smart Canvas ng, uh, ng Google Docs, okay? So just recently, no? Uh, last 2021, ang lumabas yung Smart Canvas, okay? Which allowed um, inserting of smart chips inside your Google Docs. So yung sinasabi ko kanina, hindi na lang po simpleng word processor si Google um uh, Google Docs so instead okay kapag ginamit niyo yung at sign okay you will now be able to insert multitudes of resources i could insert a name for example kaagapay teacher support okay but uh, sir franco uh, why not just insert the email of the person okay parehas lang naman yun uh, but look at this no if you hover the, your mouse no over the the embedded okay or uh, link um, email address okay that actually gives you to uh, allows you to interact with the email uh, with the email address okay send an email okay um, send a message okay or even uh, start a video conference or schedule a meeting okay you can't do that if you just simply pasted or uh, have written no yung uh, email address ng ano no ng um ng ano no 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 ng no, no, uh, email address, okay? Tama po Sir Alfred no simplicity simplicity is great no kasi syempre yan is mga gusto nating unang magawa no kapag ang isang student natin kay tumingin sa resource material natin hindi sila na overwhelm okay because the the moment that they look at our uh, resource and they get overwhelmed okay that actually becomes a deterrent for them to pursue or to actually do the module but if they see for example that the module is just one page okay and things are actually building up one at a time they would actually have more courage no okay uh, and uh, i don't know um um uh, um, motivation, okay, to actually get into our module. So, yes, uh, Sir Alfred, no, simplicity, okay? And notice that if you com uh, uh, continue to use uh, the at sign, you'll be able to insert uh, more, okay, for example, meeting notes, okay, are you starting a meeting, okay? So, for example, this one, 
that inserts uh, a format for a meeting, okay? attendees, attaching files. Okay? Uh, you can also um, put uh, notes about it. Okay? Um, you can you also have um, 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 what it was listing down. Okay? By the way, no, isa sa mga favorite ad addition ko sa Google Docs na no, yung pag uh, create ng mga checkable listing um, bullets na no? so pwede po yung ma-check okay? yan okay na check po yan okay so and again no uh, if you keep on using the at sign and dami yung pwedeng i-insert um uh, other resources say for example okay? this uh, sample um hyper slides i could also insert that okay? and um even events no pwede rin kayong mag-insert ng events okay so for example this one i'm going to insert april 20 okay or a date okay? things like that okay so all of your insertables, okay, it's just uh, no, no, uh, at the tip of your hand um, when it comes to Google Docs, okay. So that's ganon pinalalam at pinalawak ni Google Docs na yung paggamit natin ng uh, hyperlinking and embedding of resources, okay, sa loob ng ating Google Docs, okay. So I'm looking forward, teachers, no, sa na makakita ng mga modules that are one-page modules, okay. Yes, we can do that already. Okay, kayang-kaya na natin pong gumawa ng mga one-page modules niya. Tapos natin kailangan, okay, ng mga uh, lengthy, 20-page, um, 30-page, or even 40-page uh, modules, no? Okay, we can do all of those, no? Okay, in just one page, okay, using hyperlinking and embedding in Google Docs, okay? So that's for Google Docs, okay? Um, that's uh, how we do no? um, hyperlinking and uh, make use of the hyper hyperlinking capabilities of Google Docs, okay? Next one, let's up. Uh, let's proceed to um, Google Slides naman, okay? So si Google Slides okay, um, is, uh, ano, no? has a similar uh, hyperlinking capabilities okay? uh, with, um, with um, Google Docs, no? So gumagamit din siya ng similar pattern na ginawa natin kanina. Okay, so let's explore this um, uh, slide, okay? So of course the first thing no this is sample uh, slides lang po no okay uh, so for example if you want to highlight or to um um to um uh, do a hyperlink no okay uh, in um Google Do uh, Google Slides okay so just highlight again no yung text okay nagagawin niyo pong hypertext okay or itatawag nating display text okay when you click on uh, when you highlighted it punta lang po dito sa taas you will see again the insert link uh, button. Okay, so same thing lang naginawa tayong kanina. You can also do that in your, um, in your ano no, in your um slides. Okay, uh, in Google Slides. Okay. Now, um, what are the um, like very practical and very ano no um use uh useful ways of um using hyperlinking in uh, in Google Slides? Okay, and the first one that you can actually use hyperlinking is yung uh, hinahanap-hanap nating uh, breakout rooms. Alam ko po okay, um, na hinahanap natin yan kasi um, our accounts, no, um, um, not all of our accounts no, okay, in the Google Workspace for Location okay, actually uh, has the breakout rooms kasi nasa, enter, uh, nasa Education Plus account lang po yan. Okay? So yung ating uh, fundamental standard okay, uh, do not have access okay, um, to, to breakout rooms. Okay? So yan yung malaking nawawala sa atin. Okay? But uh, do take note, uh, teachers, no, that you can actually have do a work around no, in breakout rooms, okay, uh, for your students, okay. So what you can actually do is to create a Google Slides presentation, okay, that you will share to your students, okay. And in this uh, Google Slides, no, you can actually do breakout rooms. Say, for example, dito meron akong breakout room one, two, three, and four, okay. And what I'm going to do is to set up meetings for them, okay. So for example, okay, I'm going to fetch a meeting, okay. Um, let's set up a meeting on um, Google Meet, okay? And, okay, let us uh, get a meeting link uh, for later. Okay, so I'm now able to uh, have a meeting link right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, for group one, okay? So I'm going to do a hyperlink, okay? For this one, so group number one, okay, the hyperlink, insert link here, apply, okay? So now... Group one, okay, when they get into the slides no, and click on this link, okay, or on this um, um, number one, no, they will be able to enter their meeting room, okay? And yes, po, teachers, no, okay, uh, baka lang po hindi tayo aware, no, na we can actually enter in multiple meetings, okay? Well, ang problema lang doon, na magiging challenge lang talaga dyan is your internet connection. Can you actually uh, support, no, um, um, meetings, no, um, 
um, uh, three to four meetings okay, with that. No? But that's that's so far you know, the best work around team. Okay? I've seen, uh, baka lang sabi, tanongin niyo po, ano, uh, are there no extensions for uh, breakout rooms? Meron, kaya lang, I think it's complicated to use. No? Uh, marami na ako narinig na complaints about using those uh, extensions. Okay? So yan, isa sa mga pwedeng gamit natin. No? Uh, and of course, okay, sa mga nag-iisip din ng asynchronous tasks, no, you can also do asynchronous tasks using this uh, Google Slides. No? Okay? So you can design um, uh, worksheets okay? um, or activities okay? in, uh, in Google Slides and um, create a slide no, wherein there is a timeline. Okay? For example, this one. Okay? Um, task 1, task 2, and then task 3, task 4, task 5. Wherein when students, um, and do a hyperlink no, to those uh, tasks, no? So when students click on your um, on the task, for example, I'm going to go task one first, okay? And um, if I click on this one, I'll go to this document, okay? I, if I'm done to task one, I proceed to task two, okay? Ayan naman, meron naman akong Google Form right there, okay? Sa aking uh, task number two, okay? And of course, meron din akong task number five, okay? So yan, okay? Uh, um, people, no, marami sa mga ibang mga educators no, abroad, okay? Uh, ginagamit nila itong si, um, uh, si Google Slides no for yung tinatawag nilang uh, online amazing race. Okay? Yes, no? uh, so pwedeng-pwede nyo pong uh, pwede kayong gumawa ng mga online amazing race for your students. Okay? So set up nyo lang sa Google Slides nyo. Okay? Do uh, activities no? and hyperli- um, create hyperlinks okay? when your students um, 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 link no? or um, click on the links, they'll be able to get around or access different materials. Okay? Pero hindi pa yan no, ang, uh, ang ating ano, no, uh, last for that. Okay? One more thing that you can actually also do no, to make your Google Slides even more dynamic is um, take notice that one of the key features of hyperlinking in, uh, in Google Slides that you can actually um, link no, um, a slide to another slide. Okay? So when, for example, this one, uh, let's link, link uh, task number four, contest task, insert link, okay? Notice here na meron kang uh, option no, okay, to link the um, this particular text no to slides in this presentation. Okay? Yes, no, okay. So when you click this one, slides in this presentation, you'll be able to select a particular slide, okay? Um, say for example, uh, I'm going to go um, to slide um, number five, okay. Right there. Okay. So when students click on that particular slide, they go to slide number five, right there. Okay. So you can actually go like um, um, uh, jump from one slide to another, okay? Uh, back and forth, okay? Um, in um, in your Google Slides, no? Uh, your students, no? In your Google Slides, no? So your Google Slides actually comes to life, no? Even without you there, no? Uh, mo- um, like uh, navigating your Google Slides, okay? So again, that's one of the beauty of um, of an uh, of um, hyperlinking in Google Slides, okay? One last thing in Google Slides before we move on, okay? Is yung pag-insert natin ng YouTube videos, okay? Bakit ito mahalaga, okay? The first thing is that when you insert videos in your presentations, that usually eats up um, storage, no, in your device, okay? Uh, or in your storage, okay? But not in Google Slides, okay? So when you insert a YouTube video in Google Slides, it will never, ever, no, take uh, a chunk of your Google Drive storage. So safe na safe po, ang Google Drive storage po ninyo, okay? So, what we're going to do here is just simply go to insert, okay? And then, uh, video, okay? And one of your options, of course, is to uh, search via YouTube. Say, for example, we're looking for a video about um, Google, okay? Search lang natin, okay? And then, um, search lang tayo maayos na Google uh, video, uh, Google Slides, okay, na lang, okay? Something about Google Slides. Okay, so how to use Google Slides? Let's insert that here. Let's select the video. So, uh, cl- uh, click select, okay? Let's fit the video onto our design, okay? Sir Franco, ang liit na po ng video, hindi na po yan makikita ng ating students. Then, that is one of the beauty of why inserting a video, okay? Uh, or YouTube video in your Google Slides, okay? Works actually perfectly, okay? Why? When I play the video, okay, for example, if I go to um, um, uh, full slideshow, if I click the video right here, notice that I have an uh, option to option to um to click the full screen mode, okay? And the video actually, okay. Okay, I think it's not working right now here, okay? 
baka because of my access kay Ah uh, because if I'm in a second screen na sorry hindi ko pala na uh, na mention teachers na sorry naka second screen kasi ako kaya hindi ko na access yung uh, full screen nito. Okay but you should be able to click on that full screen mode in your um in your uh, screen no. Okay, yeah, for example right there. Okay? So magpo full screen po siya. Okay? So that's the beauty no and uh, the purp- the the idea okay of uh, integrating your videos in your uh, Google Slides. And plus no baka lang po mag-worry tayo teachers no. Okay? Um, wala pong copyright infringement yan. Okay? So, kahit po mag-link kayo or mag-embed kayo ng mga, ng mga YouTube videos nyo sa Google Slides, no, you will never face a copyright uh, in, uh, infringement. No? Kasi, um, uh, technically, no, uh, kahit po naka-embed yung video sa Google Slides nyo, the rights still belong to the owner. Hindi naman po may pupunta sa inyo yung uh, monetization. Actually, you're, st- you're actually helping them to gain more views no, of their um, uh, materials. Okay? So that's for Google Slides, okay? Yan. Okay, maraming maraming salamat. Yes, Teacher Sandra Lin Digao, no. Gamit gamification, um talagang gamit na gamit po ang hyperlinking, no. So if you're thinking about gamification, hyperlink is one of the things you'll have to um to ano no, to um um to really master, no, and to use uh to be able to create that kind of dynamics, okay? Create that that um redirection, etc. Okay? Yeah, no, okay. Tama tama rin Sir Alfred, no. Yes. Okay, at least ngayon pwedeng tayong mag-breakout rooms, okay? Kahit wala po tayong Google Workspace for Education Plus. But of course, we're always um uh, knocking on the doors of uh, DepEd no to give our uh, teachers no um um our public school teachers no that much coveted no um Education Plus account, okay? So sana po, okay? Sana all po may Education Plus account na next year, okay? And um, next one natin uh, after um, um, uh, Google Slides no is on Gmail. Ito simple lang naman but I just like to remind everyone kasi lagi pa rin ako ang nakaka-receive ng mga email okay, with links in it. Okay, yung um, um magpapadala sa akin ng okay, here's our meeting link, makaka-receive po ako ng entire link. Okay? Or for example, may mag-share sa akin ng website, makaka-receive po ako ng uh, whole website link. Okay? Let's not do that, no. So when we go to uh, when we're sending emails, okay, and we intend to uh, send no any link po, no, okay. So when we compose, okay, right here, okay. Um, let's say for example, we're composing for kaagapay teacher support, okay. Yeah, dami ng um uh, notification ni kaagapay teacher support, okay. So let's just put a um a, um, a title, a subject, sorry, subject email, sample email, okay. Okay, so when we are sending a link, okay, uh, say for example, I want uh, to send a um, uh, the link to our website, okay? So please access our website here, okay? So normally, when we do that, no, we're actually going to um, get the link no, of uh, the website, okay, right here, for example, and then um, paste it here, okay? Well, wala namang problema masyado dito kasi technically, uh, hindi naman siya masyadong crowded pero sometimes meron talaga mga websites or mga links na sobrang haba okay it crowds the entire email ang hirap tingnan no uh, uh, really not pleasing to the eyes okay at minsan confusing to sa body ng text okay so instead of doing that okay why not um, create a de- display text instead okay agapay okay teacher support okay and then okay Highlight that, let's like what we did in Google Docs and Google Slides, okay? And here, sa baba, may makikita ulit yung link natin, yung ating icon, insert, sorry. Uh, itaas ko lang, no? Um, yan, okay? Insert link, okay? When you click that, okay? You'll now be able to insert a link to your email. Right there, okay? And can you uh, change the display text? Of course you can, okay? Click natin, Okay. We can also do that, okay? Now, we can also, by the way, no, um, uh, what do you call this? Um, even insert emails, okay? So, for example, um, please um, contact me here, okay? I'm going to um, just um, use the here as my display text, okay? Create ulit ako ng, um, um, uh, what do you call this? Um, hyperlink, okay? I'm going to insert my email address instead, okay? Okay, now what happens here is that when people click on that, okay, 
they can actually now see my email no hidden key right here okay so uh pag sinend po natin yan no interactive yan. they can actually interact with it send an email to it etc okay so you can also do that okay so that's very simple okay yet a very neat no way of um of um sharing links no via our email okay yun lang po for gmail no we will not uh, explore other features of gmail for today just a very very simple reminder no kasi that we know no um sometimes we're sending emails and um uh, the content no and how well our emails are constructed can actually make or break um uh, if people will actually read it or give time to actually read it okay so that will that should help you uh in creating a more organized no and a better emails okay our next one is on calendar okay this one is not um minsan hindi masyadong ginagawa no okay uh, but uh, please take note that you can also insert links in your calendar events okay so that when people are invited no into your events no they actually already get uh, the links to important materials okay or links to particular websites that they have to visit first or videos even that they have to watch prior to the event okay? kasi nangyayari minsan what 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 happens is that uh, people sends uh, no, no, uh, in, uh, invitation to events and then send another email about the materials okay and then another email okay uh, for uh, no, no, for the links that um, had to be watched okay, or had to be visited prior to the meeting okay so why not like put everything in one space okay so when you go to go google calendar you know, and um uh, create an event say for example we're going to create uh, an event tomorrow okay take notice that when you add description okay you can actually add whole lot of things right here okay text okay description and here you once again have that insert link capability okay so when you click on this one okay yes napaganda po sir carolyn no yung integration ng mga links na to okay so say for example um i'm going to ask no uh, my uh, my um uh, no no uh, guest okay for this particular meeting please um watch this video okay kasi ayoko na mag-send ng isa pang email kay para uh, for that no i'm going to just simply um um link no a youtube um video for example i'm just going to link them to youtube okay of course no that's not uh <laughs> the whole um i don't know um link now i'm just going to click link um what you call this i'm just going to click uh, okay and look at that okay nakalagay na doon please watch this video so when people receive the invitation they will receive this notification as well okay and they will receive the link no to that particular video okay i could also even link here an attachment right here i could embed an attachment okay um into our meetings say for example i'm going to embed a document okay this is perfect for meetings okay meron kang uh, departmental meeting okay um and again no bago tayo mag departmental meeting lagi po tayong merong uh, yung tinatawag na okay minutes of the previous meeting tama po ba ako okay at minsan yung minutes of the the, the uh, uh, minutes of the um, uh, previous meeting minsan pinapadala pa yan sa pang email okay but why not insert it in your event already okay so pwede mo na sabihin please do check um this is a description natin okay and okay lagay lang natin and um also please check the attach uh minutes okay ganun okay diba so all in one okay so pag receive nung nung guest mo nung mga guest nyo for example ng mga department uh, department um uh, colleagues niyo no nandoon na lahat hindi na sila makaka-receive ng isang uh, uh, email o hindi na sila makakuha ng messenger uh, ano message or kaya viber or kaya text ng mga materials na to okay pasok na lahat yan plus okay uh, ano no um yung ano natin kay teachers na that you can always edit it meron kang nakalimutang materials edit mo lang they will be notified about it okay so hindi mo kailangang magpadala ng dala ng ang mga materials plus ito pa ang isa nating um uh, magandang aspect ito no kapag nag-add ako okay ng video conference dito say for example like click here add video conference okay um lahat ng mga materials na inad ko okay dun sa aking meeting guys dito sa aking event no will also be attached in our Google meeting okay so for example kina sa meeting na kayo okay yung mga guests mix na nyare may nakalimutan hindi nabasa yung meeting go to the details you can access the attached file. Okay? 
pwedeng pwede po yun. Okay, so wala nang mag- magkakaroon ng problema about accessing files no, for a meeting, for an event, etc. because it's all there in your event already. Okay? Yes, no, very sm- smart integration. Okay? So let's now, um, uh, that's, that's for, I don't know, that's for um, 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 Google Calendar. So wag po nating kalimutan, okay? Um, th- that's actually one of the, ano nun, the, um, the, the things, no? Okay, na um, pwede natin gamitin, okay, for this uh, particular event, okay? Okay, so now, um, we now proceed, no? Okay, nangyari, save lang natin yan, okay? Okay, so by the way, okay, isa pa rin sa mga pwede natin, ano, no? Um, um, gawin din dito, by the way, okay? Ah, sorry, sorry. Yun na lang pala, no, for, for Google Calendar, okay? So that's for Google Calendar, okay? Our next one is on Google. Yes, maraming salamat, Sir Anton, no? Okay, um, yes po, no? Baka lang nakakalimutan natin kasi napakadaming pwede natin gawin, no? Yes, no, yan. Pwede rin no pala ang hyperlinking sa Kotobe. So pwede rin, pwede rin po, okay? So my teachers, um, next, our next one, okay? Yes, no, pwedeng pwede rin po, teacher Renalyn Luna. Okay, so let's now proceed to our next one, which is Google Earth. Okay, it's sa mga favorite, ano ko rin, no? um, 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 tools no, ni, ni Google Workspace for Education, kung saan pwede kang mag, um, mag-insert no, ng mga materials. Okay, so let's go to Google Earth. Okay, yan. Okay, eto teachers, no, uh, hindi na lang po ito uh, for stalking your crush, no, on the surface of the earth. <laughs> um, si Google Earth, no, is a geo tool that can actually be used for creating virtual tours. Lalo na ngayon, no, dahil uh, meron pa rin pandemic, no, at of course, napakamahal ng gas, no, ang hirap mag-travel. Um, our answer to that is um, uh, Google Earth. Okay, so let me now take you to one of the uh, really good teachers, no, of Google Earth, which is Projects, okay? So, si Google Earth, meron siyang um, features, um, feature that allows you to actually create your own virtual tour. Ang tawag po natin doon ay projects. Okay? So, when you open your Google Earth, okay, and you go to the la- left side panel of your Google Earth, you will see here projects. Okay? So, when you click on this, okay, you will now be able to create a project. Okay? So, gano'n kasimple gumawa ng project? Click nyo lang po yung button dun sa app sa uh, taas, no, nakalagay new project. Okay? When you click that, okay, meron kayong dalawang option actually, no? Primary option. The first one is to create a project, okay? Um, on, in Google Drive, okay? Which is what I recommend actually, no? Okay? Or create a KML file, okay? Yung KML file, just uh, for everyone's information, is a more universal format. So, ibig sabihin, pag yung project mo is created in a KML file, you can also open it in other geo tools aside from Google Earth. So, pwede mo siyang buksan sa iba pang mga geo tools, okay? Pero of course ako, personally, ang, ang ano ko talaga dyan is yung create a project in Google Drive, okay? Um, itong create a project in Google Drive, ibig sabihin, your Google project, your Google Earth project, okay, will be stored in your Google Drive. Yes po, nasa-store po siya sa ating Google Drive, okay? Para lang po siyang Google Docs or Google Slides, okay? So let's create one, okay? So here, um, uh, pwede tayong mag-create, mag, uh, pag nag-set uh, up na tayo, so we can uh, change the title, okay? So say for example, um, um, let's create um, the top five, okay? Uh, top three pala, no? Top three um, um, places, okay? In the Philippines, okay? Okay, okay? So um, uh, we're going to take our students, no? Okay, yan, okay? We're going to take our students, no? To a virtual tour around the Philippines, no? In the top three places in the Philippines, okay? So, teachers, wala pong tampuhan, no? Hindi po natin cover. Of course, napakadami magandang um, uh, place sa Pilipinas. We can actually have top 1,000, okay? So, dami na pwede nating uh, makover, no? Pero for this demonstration, top three lang tayo, okay? So, wa- once we have the title, okay? The next thing you have to do is to um, um, add a new feature, no? Okay? So, when you add a new feature, okay, ayan na. Mag-start na tayong mag-integrate, uh, no, ng ating mga, sorry, uh, ng ating mga resource materials, okay? So, for example, the first one I'd like to add would be a full screen slide, okay? That's going to be the, the title page, no, of our, um, um, uh, what do you call this? Our tour, okay? Top three places in the Philippines, okay? Okay, so title, you can put the description if you want. Okay, it's really up to you. And notice, teachers, no, okay, that you once again have there the link. 
Okay, the add a link. Okay, so you can also create hyperlinks here. No? So wala po kayong takas no, sa dami ng mga tools ni Google na merong hyperlinking capabilities. Okay, so you can also add their hyperlink. Okay, now, okay, um, what we're going to do here, okay, is um, to... So, we're going to do now here is to um, add a background. Okay? So, mag-search tayo ng Google image. Okay? For example, um, search lang tayo ng Philippines. Okay? Right there. And I'm just going to choose one image. Okay? So example, this one. Select lang natin. Okay? Of course, teachers, no, kung ganyan yan, uh, for example, a Google image, no, better talaga to insert the, the link no, to our description para meron tayong citation where the image came from, okay? Now, we're, once we're done, ayan na, nakapag-insert na tayo kagad ng ating unang uh, material, okay? And, um, surprise ko na lang, teachers, no, how it looks like later on, okay? Our next one is to complete our places, no? So, maghahanap na tayo ngayon ng mga lugar na i-insert natin, okay? So, for this tour, okay, kahit na top three po siya, isa lang pong place muna ang i-add natin, okay? So, maghanap po tayo will just stick with our usual no and uh, mo, uh, quite popular no uh, destination Boracay okay so um hanapin natin si Boracay sino po nasa Boracay ngayon umamin na okay yan okay. feeling ko may mga uh, nag-online classes sa Boracay ngayon so what we're going to do once you found the place na you'd like to add to your project no punta lang kayo dun sa knowledge card natin this is what we call knowledge card okay yan po nasa side na yan and what you can do is to add it to your project, okay? So, click nyo lang po, okay? Add to project, okay? And it's now been added to your place. But here's now where the embedding um, goes in, okay? Personalizing and customizing your tour, okay? Why? Because we can actually replace the information about um, about ano, no? about uh, this place, no? So, click natin yung replace. And we can now insert more photos, okay? So what I want to insert here is another photo of Boracay, okay? So let us say, say Boracay. Yan, summer capital of Baguio, yan. Okay, so let's insert this. Ah, sorry. Uh, Gating kunin yung eye stack na yan, okay? Let's just insert that, okay? So nakapag-insert na ako ulit ng photo, okay? So nakapag-embed na ulit ako ng um, photo dito sa aking um, place, no? Can I insert more? Pwedeng pwede. Pe, gusto ko naman ngayon mag-insert ako ng video, okay? So, maghahanap ako ng YouTube video, okay? Um, uh, I'll want them to also appreciate the Boracay Rehabilitation. So, I'm going to insert a video about Boracay Rehabilitation, okay? So, they would also realize, no, okay? Ayan, okay? Um, how, uh, from uh, once a dirty place, no, they would also realize how uh, Boracay was actually restored and rehabilitated, okay? And can I insert more photos? Yes, you can. Ayan. Okay? So, pwede ka palit mag-add ng photo dito, etc. Okay? Um, so, I can put the example. The title is Rehab uh, Boracay and it's uh, Rehabilitation. Okay? Okay, so, you can imagine teachers now. And don't worry, teachers now. Hindi niyo po binabago yung information ng Boracay. Okay? Uh, of course, people, if they search Boracay, they will still see uh, the information provided by Google, okay? But not your information, okay? So, um, if we click on, if we go here, okay? Now, we have two places, okay? Surprise let how it looks like, okay? Let's go to our last one, which is, okay? I'll now add, no? Uh, how about, can we also add, um, like, uh, an assessment, okay? Yes, we can, okay? So, go punta po tayo, for example, create ulit tayo ng isang full screen slide pa rin, no? okay? And this one, nagkawin natin, lalagay rin assessment, okay? Formative assessment. Okay. So, why not insert, okay? Uh, or embed your quiz in your virtual tour, okay? So, right here, and then we go here. Uh, once you have um, put the title, ang gagawin natin is to go to the three dots for teachers, okay? You click on that one, and we switch to HTML. Okay. And here, we're going to embed a, um, a Google Form. So, I'm just going to go to Google Form. Okay. Punta lang tayo, Forms. Okay. Yan. Okay. Yan. Uh, pang, pang pegman ko po si <laughs> Sir Franco, nasa Boracay. Okay. So, for example, let's just 
get a random um uh, ano no um assess for example this one okay let's open this uh, form okay for example this is our assessment okay uh, i'm just going to go here and send okay, this form and in the send send dialog box now instead of going for the url what you're going to do is to go here sa ating embed icon okay ayan yan po ang ikakopy natin just copy that link now that's the embed code of your form that's what you use to embed it in websites okay um so here same, same thing okay and simply paste it here okay and once that's done okay tayo dito Okay. That now goes into your um into your virtual tour as well. So how it look uh, how does it look like? Ito na po itsura ng ating virtual tour, okay? So yan na yung ating uh, uh, front page, okay? Um and then our uh, first place, okay? Boracay, okay? So you can see here, makita niyo po yung ating ininsert na um photo, okay? And of course title, kung naglagay kayo ng information, malalagay niyo rin po yan. If the student uh, navigates to the um, uh, button here, she, uh, they should be able to see the video. If they click on that, they can watch the video right there. Okay? So, a very, very dynamic, no? So, it's a tour that's not just visiting places. You can actually customize it, put, uh, put content into it. You can even also um, uh, go here um, and insert your entire uh, assessment right here. Ayan. Okay. So yan teachers no, okay? Yan po ang power ng ating Google Earth project no. And how embedding of resources, okay, into your virtual tours is actually very possible using Google Earth, okay? So, um naka, nadala niyo na yung mga students sa iba't ibang lugar, uh, nakapag-assessment pa sila, naturo niyo pa yung content niyo, etc. Okay? So the last um at this stage ito skip na natin no because we uh, don't have time anymore. We're going to proceed to our last one which is on Google Sites kasi meron na akong gustong ipakita talaga sa mga teachers dito no okay? Um on on our Google Sites, okay? So I hope that that that's uh, okay no. Okay, maraming salamat Miss Caroline no, okay? So let's go to our Google Sites. Of course, si Google Sites is the mother of all embedding. Okay? So lahat na sa so lahat ng mga Google tools or Google workspace tools, ito talaga ang uh, mother of all embedding kasi it actually it, the, the main system or the main um, processes okay, or the main process of Google Sites is all about embedding. You create your website by embedding resources. Okay? So, say for example, okay, mag-create tayo ng, um, ng new um, uh, website dito. Okay? And we're just going to do it um, from, a, from scratch. Okay? So, before I go no uh, and uh, talk about okay, um, the special uh, embedding no or um, in in Google Sites okay, let me just also um, uh, remind everyone okay, that you can actually do um, sorts of things no the, or insert no a lot of things in Google Sites okay? you have here embed of course that's what we're going to do later on okay? uh, drive ito lang sa drive very quickly lang gusto ko ipakita yung amazing um, uh, ano no um, embedding of Google Drive uh, folders, okay? Did you know that you can actually uh, embed an entire folder in Google Drive, okay? Because before, di ko alam to, no? Okay, pero na-realize na ko na pwede pala siya. Sobrang ganda. Imagine if you have a class folder with all the files in it. You can actually embed the entire folder in your website. Say, for example, this one. Let's embed this entire Kaagapay Teacher Support folder. If I um, embed that, no? You will see here na makikita, okay, pwede natin baguhin yung ating um, uh, view here, grid view, okay, done. You will see here na na-embed yung buong folder ko, okay? And whoever will enter in my website, no, they will be able to see all my folders in one um, in one page, okay? Magic, di ba? Sobrang ganda, sobrang galing, sobrang amazing, no? Hindi nalang kailangan pumunta sa Google Drive, no? Right there and then, they will be able to access your class folder, okay? So if you're, for example, uh, building a learning hub, this is it. Google Sites is your um, uh, your tool to use, no? Okay? Uh, and of course, no, um, nandito rin yung mga tools natin, okay? Um, for um, hyperlinking. Ito, mas social lang ng konti, no? Ang hyperlinking ng, uh, ng Google Sites kasi... Uh, while you can insert a hyperlink no in Google Sites, 
meron siyang tool dito na tinatawag na button, okay? Which makes it more organized, no? Kasi pag nag-insert ka ng button, ng uh, link dito, and create a button, it actually creates a clickable button. Say, for example, this one is uh, the website, okay? And here, we can uh, paste the, the link, okay? For example, natin tong, ano, let's get the link of our website here. And if I insert the link, it creates a clickable button right there. Mas organized, no? Mas, mas uh, of course, no? Website uh, appropriate yung, ano niya, yung aesthetics niya, no? Yung, uh, um, yung button natin. So that's for button teachers, no? Yan, okay? Yung button, okay? When you're inserting links, no? You use button uh, to create clickable buttons in your um, website. Of course, all sorts of things, your YouTube, your calendar, your maps, your docs, your slides, your sheets, your forms, and your charts no, can all be inserted. And there's one thing that you'll have to remind, uh, remember here. When you insert these things into your website, all of these elements, okay, YouTube, calendar, maps, um, docs, slides, and sheets, and forms, uh, this will not redirect your students no, unless they want to. Okay? But this will not redirect because they can actually interact with the content right in your website. Okay? That's the beauty of um, integration. Now, we go to our special um, embedding no? okay? in Google Sites. Okay? I know that you are a fan of um, like creating games for your students, okay? like uh, quizzes, Kahoot, etc. Okay? So let me now show you that you can actually embed those things in your uh, website. No? Okay? So here, hanap lang tayo ng place to uh, put our, um, our, um, our, our games. No? Okay? So, let's uh, double-click. Pwede ka double-click, no? Or pwede ka rin dun sa upper left, upper right corner, embed, okay? But the shortcut is to simply double-click on the space, okay? And you will see this icon, embed, okay? That's what we're going to use, okay? So, click on that one, and mag embed tayo ng, um, ng um, quizzes muna ang una ting embed okay? So, what I'm going to do is to go to quizzes, okay? And um, I'm just going to log into my account, okay? I'm just going to get um, a quiz, okay? So when you open your account, okay? So open your quiz or any quiz that you'd like to um, embed into your um, site, okay? So you go here. Um, let's just start a live quiz, okay? Go classic and continue. So once you start a... Um, once you start okay, um, a, um, a quiz, no? Okay? What you're going to have here is of course the joinmyquiz.com and the embed code. Hindi, hindi po tayo maglalaro teachers na, okay? I'm just showing. Uh, what we're, what you can what you can do here is to copy the link. No, meron ka makita dito ng uh, button for the link. When you click that, okay, this one, like the chain um chain like uh, icon. When you click that, uh you click you copy the um, the game link no to your clipboard, okay? And that's what we're going to insert right there. Okay? And it will be recognized, no? Okay? So, pwede kang preview or pwede kang whole page. I want whole page para um, they can play the game inside my website, okay? So, when you click this one, uh, insert, okay? Right there. You have an entire quizzes, okay? Into your, inside your, um, inside your uh, Google site, okay? So, yan. Imagine nyo, no? Uh, very interactive, very dynamic. Hindi na aalis, no? Hindi na kailangang mag-create uh, pa, no? Um, ng, ng, ng uh, new platforms for your students, okay? Let's insert one more, okay? Uh, isa yun sa mga popular lino na ginagamit ng mga teachers is yung Padlet, okay? Uh, please take note that your Padlet can also be inserted into your, um, uh, into, your, um, into your website, okay? At itong Padlet na to is actually what I'm using, okay? When I want to create a comment section, okay, in my uh, website. No? Di ba walang comment section ang, ang ating mga website? Ito yun, okay? Pwede kang mag-insert ng comment section sa website mo, sa Google site mo, gamit ang Padlet, okay? So, for example, this one, okay, is a comment section that I have, no, okay? Um, so, what I'm going to do is to simply share this, um, this uh, Padlet, no? Click share. And you will see that one of your options for sharing is embed in your blog and your website. You click on that one and you copy the first long... Um, uh, link, no? No need to understand the teachers, no? Natin kailangan maintindihan yung HTML na yan. Copy nyo lang po, okay? And that's what we're going to um, insert next, okay? So, double-click ulit tayo. Click embed, okay? 
This time, do not choose URL, okay? Because you have fetched an actual embed code, you choose embed code, okay? You paste the embed code you got from Padlet right there, and then click Next. And you have now your Padlet inside your, um, um, your website, okay? So students, okay? Users, okay? Can actually write on that Padlet, okay? You can see there, meron kang add button, okay? So complete ka na, okay? So kapag gumawa ka ng website, no, for your class, okay? May materials ka na, assessment, etc. Lahat na ng kailangan mo, plus a comment section, if they have questions or if they have insights, pwedeng-pwede mo nang ipagawa yan sa loob ng inyong uh, Google Sites po, no? Okay, so wala nang missing aspect sa inyong Google Sites, okay? Um, Doon sa mga gumagamit ng Kahoot, medyo may technical ano lang, no? Uh, sa paggamit ng Kahoot, okay? So si Kahoot kasi medyo meron siyang ginagamit na ano no, na, na ano, encoding, okay? So if you want to insert Kahoot for example, if I'm going to Kahoot, okay? What we do for Kahoot no, for Kahoot users, okay? Sa mga Kahoot users po natin, okay? Um hindi ako nakalagi, nakalagi na ako kanina. <laughs> na log out po ulit ako, okay? So for example, if I go to my Kahoot, if I go to my library, if I get into my one of my games right here, uh, tayo ko lang po mag-load yung aking Kahoot, okay? I think yan, okay? So, for example, meron akong dalawang um, Kahoot uh, um, games dito. So, I'm going to play. Click nyo lang po yung play na for your Kahoot. And instead of this one or this one, sabihin, uh, wala siyang time limit. Okay? Wala po siyang, uh, hindi po siya nag-expire, okay? Kasi kapag uh, actual game mode po kasi mag-expire yan, okay? So, practice po kayo para pwede siyang paulit-ulitin ng mga students niyo. So, go for practice mode, okay? And when you open the practice mode, okay? Here's what you're going to do, okay? So, naka-set na yung game, no? Punta po kayo doon sa ating um, uh, Omnibox, okay? I will go highlight it, ayan. Address box po natin, okay? Yan po ang ikakopy natin, okay? So, yan, yung uh, address box na yan, okay? Uh, yung, sorry, yung address na yan, okay, ang ia-apply natin dito sa ating formula. So, kapag na-copy nyo na po yan, okay, here's what you're going to do now, okay? You're going to follow this format, no? Okay? So, sa mga hindi po um, makakasunod sa format, no? Okay? You can screenshot this um, this format of our um, um, embed code, no, for Kahoot, okay? So, we're going to go here. We're going to get embed code. So, here, yan, okay? So, explain ko lang po yung parts nito no, sa mga ano po natin, okay? Para lang po clear sa atin. Anong dinagdag ko dito, okay? So, this one, okay? Ito pong i-highlight ko ngayon, no? okay? This one is what I copied kanina, okay? Ito yon Yung um, address nitong ating Kahoot game, okay? So, that's the address of the Kahoot game. What I added would be this. This is the formula to make it an embed code, okay? So iframe, that's yung width nung ano nung um nung um 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 uh, nung game, okay? And of course, no, yung SRC means source equals um quotation marks, okay? And then you have um uh you'll also close it with this one. Yung sa dulo niya, okay? Uh, quotation marks um um that's a greater than sign, less than sign, than sign slash iframe um Greater than sign, okay? Once you're done with that, okay? Click next lang po natin. Pwede lang, baka nag-error lang tayo. Copy ulit natin. Okay. May mali lang po yata sa aking, um, ano, ano. Palitan natin to Mali yata yung ating mga quotation marks. Okay. Hindi niya tinatanggap for some reason yung quotation marks na yan. Ano? Okay. Uh, ang gusto niyang quotation marks are those quotation marks. Okay? Click natin. And um, insert natin. Alam hindi siya nag-load. Hindi lang po, no? Pakalang hindi na load si well, um, Hindi ito naglo-load si Kahoot okay, right now, okay? So, palitan lang natin. Ay, syempre, no? Na-close na, na ko na pala 
yung uh, game na yon okay? So, palitan lang po natin itong ating code for now. Okay. Hope na gumana na po siya. Napalitan ko lang po yung X, yung, ano, yung quotation marks. And I think hindi niya tinatanggap yan. Ayan! Okay na. Pumasok na si kahoot natin. Insert natin. Meron na rin po tayong kahoot sa loob ng ating Google Sites. Ayan. Ready? Ready to go na po tayo. Uh, pasok na, pasok na po. Yan, kay pasok na pasok na po ang ating website no for our students no for asynchronous learning or for even no for synchronous learning as well. Okay, so your websites no will no longer be boring no. So may height po sir Franco. Ayun, tama po no, Miss Joanne. Kita kalimutan kong baguhin sa height yung um uh, quotation marks. Yan, maraming maraming salamat no. Okay? So those teachers no that's um one of the aspects no or things you can explore as well with um Google Sites no. So again, Sobrang namin pa niya na pwede natin i-insert sa loob ng ating Google Sites. Okay, so just, um, uh, ano lang, no, um, just to cap, uh, wrap up, no, okay, medyo kulan na po tayo sa time ngayon, okay? Just a reminder for everyone when we're using um, links and um, hyperlinks, okay, and of course, um, embedding resources. And the first one is that always check if all the links and embedded materials are working. Okay, so importante po yan, no, okay? Um, because sometimes we share um, links, no, from our Google Drive, pero naka-restrict pala yung file. Okay, so kailangan po naka anyone with the link. So always check. Ang trick po dyan, dalihin nyo po sa incognito window yung um, yung inyong uh, resource material kung, saan, kung nasaan yung mga hyperlinks. Okay? And you should be able to see kung nag-work po yung mga hyperlinks at viewable po yung mga files. Okay? And of course, always regularly update the hyperdocs. Okay? Some links such as websites expire over time. Baka po yung nilagay nyo or nilink nyo na website, wala na pala or nagbago na ng um, website address, hindi na po siya marireach ng inyong mga students. Okay? And of course, the last one is be cautious with the copyrights of embedded materials. Okay? Do proper citation pa rin and uh, attribution um, as needed. No? Okay? Teachers, uh, if materials are for educational purpose um, use, wala po tayo magiging problema for copyrights um, natin. Okay? Uh, nagiging problema ang copyrights natin kapag kinocommercialize yung materials. Okay? So as long as you're not selling your materials, there should be no problems with your uh, with uh, with copyrights no but still always always cite your sources okay so yon teachers maraming maraming salamat and thank you for being with me no and um, tuning in uh, to our um, um googly filipino teacher episode for today okay so um once again i'm uh, Franco Nicolo P. Adu, no uh, you can reach out to me uh, through this um different uh, channels and websites okay? i still i don't know with miss jen and sir rainier no uh, if we still have time for some questions or um or um i don't know uh, inquiries uh, from our audience but again thank you maraming maraming salamat for the for everyone no? for tuning in uh this uh, evening okay thank you po back at you miss uh, jen all right. Thank you so much, Pastor Franco. Thank you for taking our instructional materials to the next level. Tama po kayo. Minsan, sa sobrang dami namin gustong uh, ilagay sa IMs namin, medyo nagiging boring na. Pero with all the tips that you have shared with us tonight, alam ko na ang mga sudyante natin, eh, mas lalong uh, motivate na matend ang ating class. Actually, according to Ma'am Angelina Reyes, Good job po to Google for providing relevant, user-friendly, and efficient plus motivational tools to assist teachers in creating and presenting instructional materials. Ayan. Thanks also, uh, Sir Franco, kasi isa kayo sa mga nagpatunay ng mga sinabi ni Ma'am. Also po, galing kay Ma'am Caroline, uh, thank you so much po for the generous information, Sir Franco. Totoo naman po yan. Actually, Sir Franco, uh, medyo wala na kami nakikitang um, question sa ating comment box. Puro na lamang po uh, message of thanks and papuri sa inyong uh, husay ngayong gabi. Thank you so much once again for that very engaging and compelling teaching on how to do hyperlinks and embed using Google Workspace tools. Um, we have really learned a lot from you po and we wish to see and hear more from you, sir, in the future. Sir Franco, again, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Yeah, thank you. Maraming salamat, Miss Jen. And of course, teachers, no, thank you rin po. And uh, please stay safe. 
Uh, and good luck to all those who are transitioning to uh, face-to-face learning. Yeah, thank you so much, po, sir. All right, tonight's last session for season one was really a blast, and we really couldn't ask for more. But we still have a whole heap to unlock and learn that we shouldn't really miss. Kaya naman, abangan pa ang mga sorpresa ni Google in the coming weeks. Again, maraming salamat sa ating resource speaker ngayong gabi. And if you want to elevate education with simple, flexible, and secure tools while having fun at the comfort of your home, join us again next season still here on the Google of Filipino Teacher. Have a good night, everyone. Maraming salamat. Stay safe. Thank you, Paul. Browsing and learning to use the internet is, yes, one of the easiest and funnest things to do today. A click here, another click there, and we can be anywhere. You can meet people from around the world. Hi! Read amazing stories and histories of the past. Ooh. And even have a glance of what may be seen in the future. But remember, using the internet without proper guidance and enough knowledge can also be one of the scariest we can ever imagine. Ooh. Imagine going on an online trip, seeing the beauty of the place, when suddenly, potential scams pop up and block your way. Hmm. Scams? These are dishonest tricks used to deceive people. And we don't want that to happen to any of us. So, be your own hero online. Be internet alert. If it's too good to be true, then it's most likely fake. Fair exchanges shouldn't ask for your personal information. Always think twice or ask for the assistance of your parents and guardians before accessing a new site. Be on guard for possible phishing that will ask you to log in and give your important personal details. Whew! That was close! Good thing, I am internet alert! Remember, any effort to steal your information may be a form of scam. So always trust your intuition and distinguish what's real and what's fake online. This has been your online hero, Mom Jennifer, reminding you to Beware by being aware, keep your learning safe, and don't fall for fake. Boing, 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 boing.